watching the silence as he prays in the garden. See the blood through his brow, face lifted towards heaven. In the shadows of betrayal, there's never been a night like this. The master of the world awaits his best friend's kiss. Father, take this from me! I hear him scream as this nightmare unfolds, my worst dream. I think of the blind, the deaf, those brought back alive. For all who called on Jesus got a new chance at life. Armed with swords and clubs, I see them approach. Rabboni, he says, reaching for the silver, the price for his soul. Chains on his hands and feet, they lead him, like a lamb to the slaughter. I hear they're gonna kill him. No, no, this can't be true, this can't be happening. God, there has to be another way. Jesus turns, looks me in the eye. I am the way. The Son of God from prophecies foretold now stands before man with thorns on his head as they strip off his clothes. Are you who you say you are? I can hear him ask. Strapped to the pillar, I see him. The soldiers, they pound him, they beat him. Whip flash on his back, tears up his flesh. You don't deserve this, Jesus. I'm the filthy mess. A voice but a whisper among the screaming crowd. I hear a soldier mention a cross. Just then the courtyard gets real loud. We'll take the blame. His blood is on our hands. Nail him to that tree. The people start to chant. Through the scoffing, the torture, the blood, and the shame, I can see him. He's focused and silent. There's glory in his pain. Perplexed and confused, I yell out, God, you're innocent, sinless, and righteous. You have every power to stop this. Somebody, please, tell them the truth. But it was as if Jesus could hear me through that noise. He looked at me again. I am the truth. I stand there and watch as they pound him with nails through his wrist and his feet. They put a spear through his waist. I hear him breathe his last. He's placed behind a rock. I kneel beside his grave, feeling a deep sense of loss. The demons, I hear them as they let out a shout of an undeserved victory. Evil spreads out. Satan sits enthroned as blackness fills the skies. Midday turns dark. It is the hour of the night. Fighting back my tears when I think of his face, being beaten to death, being laid in that grave. At a corner, in the darkness of the day, I try to find comfort in the depths of dismay. All this for my life's sake, all this to wash my sins away. I don't understand the love of God, giving his all, giving all that he got. Unconditional love on display for all to see. The perfect one became a curse for you and for me. All of our sins and sickness and condemnation was placed upon the Lamb of God, our propitiation. You see, he had to do this, it had to be done. Only by Jesus Christ, though accused, still the blameless one. In the midst of the howling and the demonic hype, I feel a jolt in my conscience as I open up my eyes. There, way past the immodest, evil, and vile creatures, I see a silhouette, a figure that looks a lot like the teacher. In the midst of the howling and the demonic hype, I can hear footsteps in the background. It's the one and only giver of life. His feet and his wrists freshly pierced. I see Jesus walk in. All hell trembles in fear. Satan is no match against the Prince of Peace. Bruising his head with his heel, Jesus takes back the keys. Death runs and hides and darkness starts to flee. As he shatters the chains of the captive, his blood has set them free. Daylight filled the sky as heaven began to celebrate. When Jesus unwrapped that shroud and stepped out of that grave. My Lord, my God, I exclaim as tears of joy flood my eyes. Christ Jesus looks at me once more with that glorious smile. I died, but look, I am alive. And forever and forever, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life.